first. Primero, arrastra un nodo fast to you. You think you've seen all the fusion tricks? Think again, because these five will completely level up your DaVinci Resolve game. Multilingual audio track setup. First, open ChatGPT and type your English script here. Now ask ChatGPT to translate it into any language you want, like Hindi or Spanish. As you can see, I've already converted my voice script into both Hindi and Spanish using ChatGPT. Next, copy the translated text and open 11 Labs. Paste that translated script here and click Generate Speech. Now click Play and listen. First of all, drag a fusion timeline on a fast noise node. Ko drag kare. It sounds really good. Once you're happy with it, just download the generated voice. Now let's move into DaVinci Resolve. First, drag your main video onto the timeline. This version of my video doesn't have any audio yet, so it's easy to follow. Now, drag your English voice over to Audio Track A1. This is your main English version. Then drag the Hindi version to Audio Track A2, and the Spanish version to Audio Track A3. Make sure all your audio clips are perfectly synced with your video. If they're slightly off, you can open the Fairlight page and use the Waveform view to align them precisely. Now go to the Deliver page for export. On the left side, open Audio Export Settings and expand the Output Track section. Select Timeline Track and you'll see Track 1 created. Click the plus icon to add Track 2, and set this one as Track 2. Then add Track 3 and assign it as Track 3. Now we have three audio tracks. English, Hindi, and Spanish. Next, choose the folder where you want to save the video. Click Add to Render Queue, and hit Render All. Once the export is complete, open your video in VLC Player. First, drag a fast noise node onto your Fusion Timeline. You'll notice the default audio is in English because we placed that on Track 1. Now go to Audio Audio Tracks Track 2. And you'll hear the Hindi version. Switch to Track 3, and now you can listen in Spanish. It's that simple. One video, multiple languages. Just like how streaming platforms like Netflix or Amazon Prime let you switch between languages. Cool and easy. Camera recording overlay effect. First, take a look at this clip. As you can see, it has a realistic camera recording overlay effect. Creating this manually can be a bit tricky, but DaVinci Resolve has made it super easy. Now open DaVinci Resolve. Drag your footage onto the timeline. Go to the top left panel, Open Effects. Then go to Toolbox Effects. And search for Video Camera. Select it and drag it onto your footage. Now you'll see the camera overlay effect instantly appear on your video. If you want to adjust the battery icon or time display, go to the inspector on the right side. Open the timecode section. And here you can enable or disable hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. Just check or uncheck what you need. Below that, under Start Offset, you can adjust the time duration. Make it start earlier or later depending on your video. Next, you'll find the Battery Level option. Here you can increase or decrease the percentage. I'll set mine to around half, see? The battery level drops to 50%. And finally, you can even change the color of the overlay. Choose any color that matches your video's look and style. And that's it. A clean, easy and professional camera recording overlay effect in DaVinci Resolve. Video Call Recording Effect First, turn off the camera recording overlay effect from the previous trick. Now, go back to the Effects panel. You'll find the Video Call Effect. Simply drag and drop it onto your footage, and instantly, the Video Call Overlay will appear on your video. Now, open the Inspector panel on the right side, and you'll see all the Video Call settings. Here you can adjust the Position X and Y sliders to move the call window anywhere on the screen. Left, right, up or down, wherever you like. Below that, there's a zoom option. Use it to resize the call window to fit your video perfectly. Next, you'll find the background color option. You can pick any color to make your video call look more stylish and catchy. Then comes the shadow option. Increase it a little to give your call window more depth and realism. Finally, scroll down and enable the timecode option. You'll notice the same settings appear here. As in the camera recording overlay effect. You can toggle hours, frames, or seconds according to your style. And that's it. A quick and professional video call recording effect. Binoculars slash scope effect. First, drag your footage onto the timeline and trim it as needed. In my case, the first clip shows a girl looking through a scope, 
and the second clip shows a bear in the jungle. We'll apply the binoculars effect on the bear clip. Once your clips are ready, go to effects and search for binoculars. Grab it and drag it onto the bear footage. Now play the video, you can see the realistic binocular or scope view instantly applied. Next, go to the inspector panel on the right side. Under binocular settings you'll find several controls. Blur strength, adjust this to make the edges smoother or sharper. Aberration distance and strength, increase slightly to add shine and lens glow. Eye position, move these sliders to perfectly align the scope circles with your footage. Tweak these options according to your video, and that's it. A short and cinematic binoculars effect done in seconds. Animated drop shadow effect. First, drag a text plus node onto your fusion timeline. Select the text node, go to the right side and type your text. I'm writing my channel name Visual Nova, but you can write anything you like. Now change the font. I'm choosing impact and increase the size a little bit. That looks fine. Next, select the text node, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar, and search for mirror. Add it, you'll see the mirror node appear between the text node and media out node. Select the mirror node and set its angle to 90 degrees. Now move the Y position down slightly. This will create the reflection area. Next, add a rectangle node, connect it to the mirror node, and adjust its width and height so the rectangle sits neatly under the text. Soften the rectangle edges just a little bit for a smooth look. Now search and add a Gaussian blur node between the mirror node and rectangle node, hold shift while connecting. Select the Gaussian blur node and increase the blur strength, that gives us a soft, natural shadow. Let's switch to the edit page. See our shadow looks cool but to make it more professional, let's add a background so we can judge the shadow better. Back to Fusion, select the rectangle node, move it slightly upward and lower the level under. Controls to make the lower reflection faint and natural. Now we'll animate it. Select the text node, go to shading, set opacity to zero and turn on keyframe. Move the playhead forward and increase the opacity to one maximum. Next, set a keyframe for tracking at the start. Move the playhead to the same position as the second opacity keyframe, then slightly increase the tracking value to create movement. Now open the spline editor, check text, click zoom to fit, select all keyframes and hit S to smooth them. Adjust the handles to make the motion start fast and end slow for a more natural animation. Turn off the spline editor and go back to the edit page. Play it now. And there you go, a clean, smooth and animated drop shadow effect ready in DaVinci Fusion. I really hope you learned something new and got inspired to try them out in your own projects. So don't forget to experiment and add your own twist. If you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more DaVinci Fusion tutorials, and drop your favorite trick in the comments below. I'd love to know which one you liked the most.